President Biden has a brand new campaign message. It's not me, it's you. Team Biden seems to think that if you aren't better off now than you were four years ago, then you just aren't educated. We're investing seven figures in constituency media and black media to make sure that, you know, we're doing everything that we can to educate voters on all of the ways that the Biden-Harris administration has put them at the forefront. Maybe the reason why voters aren't convinced of Joe's accomplishments is because he's running into a credibility issue. Lying Biden was on a fact-free for all in his latest sit down with CNN. The New York Post pointing out the president told a whopping 15 lies in the 17-minute interview. Insulting voters seems to be a theme for Democrats. Hillary Clinton thinks the reason why voters aren't totally on board with Biden is because Democrats are just so misunderstood. The pressure and the stress um, on our system, our country, our constitution, our future is so intense. For those of us who understand what's at stake, and I don't mean that in a, right. you know, a, a derogatory way to others, but if no. you've been in this world as you and I have, and you've studied it and you've watched it, um, it, it is uh, a very uh, difficult time right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to you first. <laughs> They're putting uh, millions of dollars. I mean, yes, you. 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 I'm you. looking at you. you. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting millions of dollars into uh, this is a black director who's investing millions, a media director, into constituency media and black media. Um, are they, uh, he says they're not aware, the blacks aren't aware they're on the forefront. I knew it was coming. Yeah, the you blacks. knew it was coming. <laughs> you knew it was coming. I mean, is, is this black media director admitting the blacks don't know how good they have it? Well, I, the race thing doesn't, 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 let's uh, divorce that for one moment. I think that, I think when you treat voters, uh, what should say, the sweet spot for voters is high cost of anything. I don't care what color you are. They don't charge whites less for gas or groceries right, right. than they do blacks or vice versa. They don't? Uh, I mean, I, that's, that's what they tell me. MSNBC told me, me something totally me. different. Joy Reid told me something different. The president, there's no amount of money you can put into a strategy or, or, or an effort if the president doesn't self-correct the message. One thing they're right about is I don't think everyone, a lot of people are aware of some of the things that the country's done over the last two or three years. But there are a lot of people who are sitting at home who ran for elected office who believe that people should know what they had done, that the country's better off or they're more secure. If voters don't feel that way, they're not going to vote that way, even if they, indeed, the circumstances and the conditions in the country are what you say. Uh, if I were the president, again, I don't know why you're not out every day at a gas station, at a grocery store, acknowledge what's happening, what has happened, and then talk about the things you're going to be doing. If you look like you don't know that eggs and bread, if you look like you don't know that electronics and gasoline are higher than they were three months ago, six months ago, or a year ago, people aren't going to listen to the message. So there's no amount of money that can be spent to make people believe they're not paying more for groceries or they're not paying more for fast food or they're not paying more for gas if they are. So the race thing is, is irrelevant. I know they've made it racial. But, but yeah, I, they're I would, putting would, it into black media. They're well, not putting it into white media. Well, well, what does that tell you? I, 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 don't, I differ with you there, Judge. I think no, that they are. Well, we're, so I don't, then stop playing the race with it. This is an American Why issue. are they playing race with it? They're going to lose if they do it that way. Good. Next question. All right. 15 lies in 17 minutes. <laughs> 15 <laughs> lies in 17 minutes. Why, you know, does, does Hillary, you know, I know she's not the most trustworthy, Greg, but does Hillary not understand that she can't lie 15 times in 17 minutes? Or does she think that people think she's trustworthy? What's amazing is that where are the fact checkers? Remember, the fact checkers are all over Trump. Do you get the sense, though, that the media has realized Joe is over you know, if this were a poker game, that Aaron Burnett interview was CNN folding their hand. Because I think you realize when you see this stuff, and, and I think what you saw there with the, the two chuckle buckets on <laughs> MSNBC, they're in the denial phase. They're in the part of the intervention where the sick person blames everyone in the room. Like, yeah, I don't have a problem. It's you people. It's you people. But CNN with Aaron Burnett are already going like, oh, boy. And they're putting the cards down. And then you're, I think you're going to start to see this kind of like the, the media industrial complex going through this horrible phase that suddenly ends up in the – now they're in the acceptance phase. And they're going to have to figure out how can we move on because you can't take that seriously. You can't take Biden 
as Biden is right now as president. And if you if, if you still are going to vote for him, that means your Trump derangement is stronger than your desire for a safe and secure country. Exactly. You can hate Trump all you want, but you got to understand. It's like the difference between would you choose a congenial surgeon with the shakes or an arrogant surgeon with ice in his veins? You know, and if you want the congenial surgeon, you're going to die. Good point. All right, Kennedy. I want um, the second surgeon. I want the really mean, cold, nasty surgeon who ghosts me on text, but who's still <laughs> really good at his job. Yeah, but also, <laughs> what about the fact that the Democrat cities are prioritizing the illegals, uh, especially as it relates to the minority community? Do you think that might have something to do with the numbers? Yeah, I think that is much more of an issue for minority communities than Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, saying there are black children in the Bronx that don't even know what a computer is. Right. I mean, that is incredibly racist and condescending. It's also racist and condescending to say, we're going to blanket you with messaging and you will vote the way we tell you to vote because that's the way it's always been. And we demand that you fall in lockstep. To Harold's point, that's not how people vote. They care about their families. They care about their bottom line. If they can't afford rent, if they can't afford food, that is all that matters to them. And, you know, the, the president is trying to sell that we are in this economic boom. Nothing is, has been better economically for any other modern president. Well, if that's the case, Hillary Clinton didn't get the message because she's on MSNBC in very friendly territory going, it is so hard right now. It is so awful. Well, the Biden administration is trying to sell us the shellac turd that Everything is fantastic and wonderful. She did. If she got the memo, she is disregarding the talking points because she wants to be parachuted in at the convention. She wants oh, to be the savior because she still believes that she should be president. If delusion were a party drug, I think we'd all be high as kites if we were taking what she's on. You know, Jesse, I had a question, but my mind is totally frozen. The blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll just say Democrats want to educate the blacks and want to re-educate the Republicans. What's the song again by Pink Floyd? We don't need no education. Harold, let me just explain something to you, okay? The blacks are more acutely aware of the failure of the Biden administration oh, yeah. than anybody else. If you're a black American you're living right. in the inner city, you are so sensitive to prices, rent, crime, migration, it is a scandal that the blacks are the hardest hit demographic. We always make that joke when they say in the media, African-Americans, hardest hit. In this case, it's true. The most loyal Democrat constituency is getting hammered by Bidenomics. Jesse, as Thank a you. black man, are you often uh, discriminated <laughs> against for your conservative views? Oftentimes <laughs> I am, and they have a word for me for that, oh, which I yeah. cannot say. It's about a relative. <laughs> yeah, all right. The fastest, I, I just, what? Black voters, are, it's more likely not, will come home to Democrats if Democrats get this right. Not if they think about how their kids are not graduating or at, at grade level I and agree. they're not computing either. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.